Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for coming by. Today we are doing the needle and thread cornrows on gray hair. This was a request from one of you. This is my friend and sister-in-law that made herself available for me to be able to do this herself for you. So all thanks to her. So I use natural organic sleeping conditioner to condition her hair. And then now I'm using Jabustone Invisiwax for the parts to make sure that they are clean. And to start, I put the thread in between the hair and then I start threading. I go through the whole section of the hair from one side to the other side. And then I go back to where I started from and get in from that side again. But this time I take the needle out in the middle of the section and then go to the opposite side, take the needle in, take it out in the middle of the section. I make sure that I don't take on too much hair all at once. So in the end, it looks like stitch braids. A lot of you guys have been saying that this is like the original stitch braids. I don't know if it's the original, but yeah, this is actually stitching because I am using wool and a needle. <laughs> so I keep on doing that, like taking the needle in from one side of the section, taking it out in the middle and then taking it from the opposite side of the section and taking it out in the middle. And that's basically what I keep on doing and stretching the hair as I go along. I don't roll it. You can roll it if you really want to. I don't normally roll the hair with the other hand when I am doing the needle cornrows. I don't. I basically just stretch the hair like you can see there and then hold it down. So you can see the tension that I'm putting there. It is not too much. And that's the whole gist of how I do this hairstyles. I don't make it too tight. Those who know this hairstyle from long back have said that this hairstyle can break your hair because it is tight. No, it is not tight. You can see those sections, right? It's not tight at all. I don't braid tight. My hands are so soft. <laughs> If I should say that myself, my hands are so soft, I can never braid tight. It's not in my DNA. The only disadvantage of using yarn, whether you're doing African threading or you're doing weaving or you are doing the needle and thread corners, is that the thread may actually dry out your hair. So moisture is very important. The aftercare product after doing this hairstyle is to make sure that your hair is as moisturized as possible. At Nasha Hair Studio, we always recommend our Nasha Organics Daily Spray, which is water-based and has got hemp seed oil, castor oil, and some conditioners that are going to make sure that your hair is hydrated as much as possible without making it wet, of course, because that is going to just ruin the hairstyle. You won't be able to wear it for about two weeks or three weeks. We're doing a side sweep hairstyle, so that's why I've got my sections going from one side of the head towards the other side. I'm just ending somewhere close to the ear, but you can basically end anywhere, even in the middle of the head. You could actually do a side sweep like that, but mine is complete side sweep. Why? Because he didn't want any hair around her neck because we're going to add hair extension afterwards. But you guys watch till the end so that you can see exactly what I am doing. So a lot of people have been asking me what kind of yarn can be used for the needle and thread uh, hairstyles. You can use any kind of yarn, really, but I prefer a thinner yarn, which is three-ply acrylic yarn to do this kind of hairstyles. You can use the weaving thread, but you might want to double it up so that it's not too thin for the hair, unless you're doing very small sections. Otherwise, I fear that it may actually pull the hair more than necessary. I'm finishing off with African threading or I'm just wrapping the end of the section with the wool that I've used for the stitching. Now I'm doing cornrows so that I can be able to attach the hair extension. I'm going to do a sew in weave. I'm doing the cornrows as loose as possible. Why? Because they're not going to be visible. Two, I don't want it to be too tight because I'm going to sew in as well. And if I make the cornrows tight already and then sew in on top, oh my goodness, that is a recipe for disaster in my opinion. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching, for commenting, for liking my videos, for sharing. I am so grateful for you, how you've helped this channel to grow, to be where it is right now. Thank you so, so much. You can see how we are approaching 100,000 subscribers. So thank you so, so much. This is you, guys. Like, this is you. This is you engaging on my videos <laughs> and liking them and sharing them with your friends and family. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate you. I'm using this synthetic hair from Darling. This hair is uh, like a dream. You guys, I am not being paid to say this, but this hair is actually very nice. It's synthetic, but it feels like human hair. It's very light. The color is just amazing as well, like the gray and then the black at the base of the hair is just amazing. 
I'm using the same yarn that I used for stitching. That's the one that I am using. Why? Because I could not find my weaving thread. <laughs> no special reason there. It's just because I couldn't find my weaving thread and this was available and that's the reason why I'm using this. So I keep sewing until I cover the cornrows, like most of the cornrows. And I also sew on part of the needle and thread cornrows. So if you don't know how to do cornrows, like just normal cornrows, you can also do this hairstyle. Do needle and thread cornrows right around your head. You can also just sew in on top of it. Needle and thread cornrows can be used as a base for a lot of hairstyles. So yeah, why not? And <laughs> you can also do crochet. You can do a sew in. You can do a lot of hairstyles using the needle and thread cornrows. Where you can cornrow, you can do uh, the needle and thread cornrows. And one of the things that I want you to see actually is how I crochet the hair on that corner, which I made right round where I sew in the wave so that I can close up the sew in <laughs> so that I can close out the base of the wave the way I have sewn it into the hair. It's just unsightly and I don't like seeing that. And in case there's also some wind that is going to just blow her hair to the other side, I don't want the base of the sew in to show. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, dude, what are you waiting for? Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button so that you don't miss any of the videos that I post on this channel. And if you're subscribed, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. If you comment on my videos, even just to say hi or just to tell me where you're watching from, I really appreciate it. Keep on engaging. Let's not be strangers. I need that feedback. I need to know how I am impacting you, how I am contributing to your hairstyling. I love to know this things you guys they make me so so happy the hustle of recording footage and editing it trust me it makes it worthwhile if it is actually helping you guys out there so let me know in the comments section below i'm fluffing up the hairstyle i'm unraveling those curls so that it can be fuller and it can be more luxurious this hair like <laughs> the color just shows off when you fluff it out can you see the silver comes out even more when the curls are unraveled i love this hair it doesn't tangle definitely doesn't tangle unless you make your job to tangle it otherwise it doesn't tangle easily it's synthetic but it feels like human hair and i love it okay so i am just trimming the hair it is hot in johannesburg and she doesn't want hair around her neck <laughs> i wouldn't want as well it's very hot believe me so she also wanted it a little bit sweeping towards the face. So we didn't do a lot of trimming uh, towards the face, but towards the back. Oh my goodness, we did quite a trim. You can see it's like way shorter at the back. So this is the hairstyle. What do you think? Do you like it? So thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. God bless you. Bye.